ask you about this radical gender bill that's passed in Scotland. It seems to be causing all sorts of chaos. We saw a double rapist housed with vulnerable women in a women's prison after he was convicted. He uh, quite late in proceedings, he decided he was a woman. But now Nicola Sturgeon is saying that trans women are women always, except if they commit a crime. See if you can keep up with this. My question is, are all trans Look, women women? This you haven't is, answered that question. Well, that's not the point that we're dealing with that's here. That's the question I'm asking. Look, trans women are, are women, but in the prison context, there is no automatic right for a trans woman. So there are contexts where a trans woman is not a woman? No, there is... <laughs> there is circumstances in which a trans woman uh, will be housed in the male prison estate. Because is there any of the context in which a woman born as a woman will be housed in the male estate? Look, we're talking here about trans women. And I'm now asking about women born as women. Uh, I don't think there are circumstances there, uh, but... So it's different for trans women? Well, yes, and I, I'm not... So they're not equal? Oh, my goodness. What does that mean exactly? So trans women are women unless it makes her look bad and then she's just going to reverse a policy ad hoc. I mean, what is going on over there? She's so slippery, isn't she? This is clearly her own policies <laughs> coming to eat her. That's what's happened. She's said all along, trans women are women. And there's no if, no buts about it. They are women. And now we're seeing the consequences of what people like us have been warning about for a long time, that if you put biological males in a biological female environment, there's going to be problems. And we've seen multiple rapes now in, in women's prisons by so-called trans women who are clearly still biological males because that's how they are perpetrating these rapes. Now, she's having to deal with this and say, yes. well, we're going to take them out. We're going to put them somewhere else. But how can you if you're saying that they are women? And then she's saying, but biological women will always remain in women's prisons, but trans women might have to go somewhere else. So she is acknowledging that her bill makes no sense whatsoever. She's putting women in danger. That's and the bill doing. makes... Well, absolutely putting women in danger. Let's not forget a lot of women in prisons have got all sorts of trauma from sexual assaults and rapes themselves in their past. So to have a predator locked with them, I mean, it's inhumane. But... The whole policy is even more, more in, incoherent when you think about the issue of trans men. Are they going to be housed in male prisons? Is that what's going to happen? Or are trans men men except when they commit a crime? I mean, the whole thing really is ripe for mockery if it wasn't so serious.